of the uh, grandma that we used to we used to learn today. The first we are going to see uh, the grammar of hodo. The grammar of hodo is mean decree or extend bounds or upper limit. This means the upper limit or extend or decree. That means what your ability can do. Then how to use uh, in Japanese? They will use the verb now and as did with the hodo. And when you use the verb with the hodo, you can use in the casual form and num past ten. That means not the past ten. They don't use with the hodo. And when you use the now, you just use in that form. Nothing change. And you can use. Uh, Na adjective, but and by, na and followed by hodo. And for the e adjective, you just use and that form, nothing change. And and by hodo. And uh, for the hodo, you can use in kanji or in hiragana, as you see here. So when you see in hiragana or in kanji, don't confuse. It has the same meaning. Such as decree, extend, bounce, upper limit, something like this. The holo is mean uh, the level that something could be possible. So uh, to make more understand about how to use the grammar of holo, the next let's go to see some sample together. The first example, kimi holo utsukushi hito wa imasen. Kimi hodo utsukushi hito wa imasen, which means there is no one that rewards your beauty. There is no one that rewards your beauty. The next example, shinu hodo no do ga ka wa iteir. Shinu hodo no Doga ga waiteru, which means I'm so thirsty I could die. I'm so thirsty I could die. For the uh, sentence that shinu hodo no do ga kawaiteru. No do is mean troll, your troll. Kawaiteru is mean you thirsty, you are thirsty. So you are very thirsty to the level that you you die, something like this. And for the first sentence, you see that um, hodo before hodo is is a uh, kimi kimi is mean you that they use uh, the noun or the pronoun right the pronoun that kimi hodo. So we use the noun with hodo. Kimi hodo utsukushi hito wa imasen. There is no one that lowers your beauty. That means nobody could beauty as your beauties. Something like this. So the hodo is mean to measure the level or something that you compare with something. And it's uh, not no evidence that something is good or better than something, but it's from your opinion, it's from your idea that something is better than something. And for the second sentence, they say shinu hodo shinu is the now in dictionary form. So they can use the verb did hodo. The next kotoshi hodo. Ame no futta toshi wa nakata. Kotoshi hodo. Ame no futta toshi wa nakata. This means it rained more this year than another, more than any other, other year. It rained more this year than any other year. 
。今年ほど雨の降った年はなかった。It's mean 今年 is mean now, right? Now plus ほど。雨の降った年ですね。あ、the year like this year right the year that you compare to another year。so this year 今年ですね。this year ね。this year あ、is rain so much。and seen in the past until now no any year あ、uh, rain。So much like this, yeah, something like this. So this is just from your opinion, not you use、uh, any device to measure the detail of the、uh, the reality that what happened, but just from your opinion. The next, 年を取るほど体が弱くなる。年を取るほど体が弱くなる。年を取るほど体が弱くなる。Which means my body becomes weaker as I grow older. My body becomes weaker as I grow older. This means あ、uh, 取るほど取る is mean take older. 年を取るです means you get older. They use the now あ、uh, the verb. Total with total, right? For this sentence, 